Pokemon Nerdigans. This is the one and only Packer Girl 89. Today's manga Nerdigan live reaction video is going to be for Diamond Away Sack 2, Chapter 283. So before we get into this recap and live reaction, let us just remind you to hit that like, share, and subscribe buttons. And because, of course, this channel, let alone this video, are not sponsored. And I'm just on a non stop high speed struggle train heading into chaos. And. Getting faster by the second. We're talking panic attack, migraine, just and half a speed levels of struggle up in y'all. Seriously, we're struggling to keep a roof over our head. It is that bad. But, 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 but. if you love what we're doing and want to help keep this channel alive and kicking, feel free to hit up our Cash App and PayPal. Those links are in the description box below. So, well, Nerdigans, it took forever. But not only did we get a run, I finally got some freaking metaphorical art. And of course, it was when the boy was up to bat. Once again, I know I'm being sucked up too. It's always when Miyuki is up that I get the art that I want. Well, close to what I want, but I, but what somewhat, but for the most part, what I want, and I'm very happy. I wish we would have had this for the majority of this game. It's better than nothing. Anyways, we got our run. Um, got a five hole up, uh, Kenta. So let's see if we get get the lead. So without further ado, let's get to it. The chance to take the lead. The frog in the well. I learned that that's what I was when I first came to Saito. Dumbass. Oh, wait. I said dumbass. Excuse me. A dumb kid clueless of how the world works. That's the majority of, of this world, to be honest. Go on Twitter, and apparently, from what I hear, go on TikTok. I'm scared for this young generation. God, I'm sounding so old. Fuck. Eh? To Tokyo? Yeah, I have an acquaintance at Saito. I can introduce you if you like. Tokyo, it's so far away. Not a single famous school in Kansai invited me to join their teams. Uh, and yet, despite this telling fact, I was under the silly impression uh, that my skills would make a difference in Tokyo, somehow. Oh, so you're from Osaka? Sure. You're sure a spirited one. Y'all bet! I'm fixing to advertise myself like crazy and become a regular before the year's out. God bless you, Kanzai. I love Kanzai Ben so much. Wow, he really speaks in Kanzai Ben. <laughs> of course, my baby thinks this. Uh, damn loud well, mouth. Well. What a blasted fool I was. And this chapter is titled The Team I Admire. A safety squeeze? Do the safety dance. Ooh, that pitch looks great. But where? Where, where my metaphorical art for this? The pitch looks good, but I'd like to see something. It rolls down the third baseline. By the way, we had a little bit of a baseball lockout. But at least baseball a coming. Thank God. Let's see. Um, Mason, gotta take the stance to catch. Let's go. Woo! Did we? Safe! Yes! Saito High seizes the lead! Woohoo! We got the lead! We got the lead! I wish the art. I wish we would have gotten some metaphorical art, like have some backgrounds utilized up in here. Like, have the backgrounds as he is running, be black, and then when he gets. Safe, have it be white. Why? Why? Why, Terajima? You missed the opportunity. Why? Why? Powerful. But, nah, did not get this. Why? I do not know. Reverse negative contrast would have been nice until, you know, you got, got to the base. But whatever. It is what it is. Yeah. My zone of safety squeeze, uh, a safety squeeze play takes advantage of the momentary lapse in Inijitsu's defense. Right after the glorious RBI by four. Oh, oh my god, I fucked this up. My zone of safety squeeze play takes advantage of the momentary lapse in Inijitsu's defenses right after the glorious RBI by four hole Miyuki. Oh, hell yeah, bitch. Let's go. Oh, I fucked this up. I love it. 
I love you, Kanzai Ben. I love you, Kanzai. Sino manages to uh, wrestle a second one from the impregnable Ace uh, Narumiya. Again, where is my metaphorical art where he is all pissy? Sono, you foul beast! You were totally cutting for it! Um, since when did he gain uh, the cunningness needed to pull off such tricks, I wonder? <laughs> did he actually practice it in secret? Yeah, great job making that difficult pitch roll! Mm, did we score it? <laughs> He totes Bullwind over us. Uh, Shirasa Senpai, nice, nice run. Whoa, the heat is on. And, oh, the heat is on. Uh, my hands won't stop shaking. Uh, all right, there's more where I, um, all right, there's more where it came. Oh my God. Translators, why? Why are you doing this to me? All right, there's more where that came from. Seriously, proofread. Tadano, um, Keep up, Faraya! Let's go! Let's go! Let's freaking go! Fakuda, deliver a message. Go make them all calm down. Yes, sir! It just it takes a defense time out here and sends a messenger to the field. They're Captain Third Year Fakuda Khan. They scored a second run in no time at all. What's more, it's still only one out. Saito must want to uh, press for a big score gap in one fell swoop here, don't you think? Yeah, now that I think about it, this is the first time in this tournament when Inijitsu had the lead taken on them. After all, they're the champions. Well, for now. That routinely overwhelmed and dominated every team they they faced since the spring tournament. It's been a long time since they've uh, last experienced a game, uh, game development like this. Again, why did you not have, in, when, when the score happened, or right before the score happened, why didn't you have reverse negative contrast? And then when, you know, safe, uh, the call was made for safe, then you could have had it the way it was. I just don't understand it, Terajima. You could have made this so powerful. You could have made it powerful, and you didn't, and I am very annoyed. <sighs> I'm not triggered. What's going on in Jujika to Rokinen with the censorship? That is where I'm triggered. This, I am just annoyed. Because this is a missed opportunity. Kaiju number eight, that's Rigor, Rigor Morris, and I'm mad. And, anno and I'm pissed. Yeah, I'm pissed and, and mad and annoyed. I'm not triggered. Yeah, but this, I'm really annoyed because of the missed opportunity. All right, now, Faraya, do your part, lad. Go and support your own behind with some cover fire. Let's see. Launch some energetic salvo there, my lad. For the time being, let's sort out um, a little what's going on, okay? It's the top of the six with one out and runners on first and second. The next batter we're up against is Faraya, who can hit a home run. I swear to God, if Faraya hits a home run and there is no metaphorical art, I'm going to be pissed. Shit, I'm going to be pissed if there's no metaphorical art in... And, um, uh, in this whole thing, or for this whole exchange, excuse me, someone we can't afford to let our guard down with even for, um, oh my God, someone we can't afford to let our guard down with, um, even for a moment, especially considering his pitching today, I'm aware of all that, and I'm not going to get careless or anything. Uh-huh. I just meant it as something to slow things down and give us all a little time out is all. Knowing you all, you'll, you will get it through it just fine, I think. Taking an out comes first. Let's focus all our efforts on retiring for Riot, for starters. It's going to be okay. I um I know because I can already see it. You all um you all pulling through this little predicament. Oh, did I fuck this up? Oh, I didn't. Okay, it's going to be okay. I know because I can already see it. You all pulling through this little predicament safely and returning to um our dugout in no time at all. There it is, uh, Fuku Prophecy. Oh, sorry, I'm afraid I let my inner fanboy show on the outside a little too much. What the hell? All right, let's fight in our own in a jitsu way. Yeah, let's go. Fanboy, he says. Fuku-chan really is just so... Itsuki, this is how you do it. Got it. I'll be sure to learn. Mm -hmm. I've been admiring this team since grade school, and in all the time since I first joined the team till now, they've never once let me down. Finally! Finally! The school has top um, nation class athletes gathered, provided with the high uh, quality training, and taught the mindset befitting a strong team. 
Be careful with the location of your first pitch. I consider myself really lucky being able to call myself a member of such a team. I finally got some metaphorical art. It's not where I wanted it per se, but I got it. One out, um, runners on first and second. In the batter's box, the side of six hole, uh, Faria Satoro. Let's go. Show them off, Faria. It's your moment of glory. Can Ace Armia pull through safely, or will Saito add another insult to injury? We caught up and even took the lead all thanks to them. Oh my god, fuck. We have caught up and um, even took the lead all thanks to them. My senpai scored us these two runs. It's not abating. I can't let myself be, uh, be left behind. Ooh. The first pitch is a fastball to the inside. Yeah! That pitch was amazing. That's right. Let's attack, May. It's always been this way. It's only natural because this is the team I admire so much. Yes! The title of the chapter. But, and there's aura. Thank God I got some aura. But it's not where I want it. Well, actually, you know what? I'll take it back. It's somewhat where I want it. God. Some, the, you know what, Terajima? I will give you where credit is due. The detailing on the gloves and everything is just freaking fantastic. At, like, the detailing that Terajima does for everything up in this up in the Diamond Ace, whether it be, like, the, the uniforms, the gloves, the equipment, all that shit, it's great. I just want some metaphorical art. I want the panels utilized, for fuck's sake, to, like, really take it to the next level. It's driving me goddamn nuts, because I know Terajima can do it. we fucking seen it! Meh. Is he gonna throw that pitch now? This fever it won't abate. Will he connect it or will he cut it off? Next time the white hot duel between the pitchers. Okay, I'm gonna say this right now, Terajima. If you're telling me this is a white hot duel, give me a white hot duel. Give me fire. Give me flames. Why shit, you should have given me fire up in here. I want more aura. I want more fire. Shit, it's for this in particular with Farai versus Yeremia. You need to give me this shit. I want to believe it. Don't just leave this shit blank. Fuck, this makes it even easier for you if you get to metaphorical art and utilize backgrounds like this, because then you don't have to draw the goddamn stadium. Like, come on. Like in this panel right here, we're um, with the... Uh, um, with Farai, when he's this final panel here where he says this fever at one of bait, where's the fire? Where is it? You could have just done that and I would have been happy. Then you would have been telling, I would have believed you when, it, and, when he's saying this shit. I don't believe it. I don't believe it when he's saying this fever at one of bait. I don't believe you when you're saying this. You are just saying it. Where is it? Where is this white hot duel you speaking of? I want to see it being white hot. I want to see the fire for Naramia. Where's the aura? Where's the gradation? Where's the fucking fire? Give me this shit, Terajima. This chapter was great. I think the best panel was when um when we got the score. Hands down, the best panel of this or best page of this fucking chapter. That art was perfection. Again, as I said, if you if um leading up to that score, um, as, uh, um, oh my god, where is it? Um, as Maisono, or not Maisono, I'm sorry, uh, is it? As Saito was getting the score, as Saito was getting the score, And what would have been nice leading up to it is if, um, as, wait, come on, is it me someone that got the score? Come on. Yeah. Okay. Never mind. All right, so as we would have, as they would have gotten the score, like especially when the slide was starting, if you would have given, and I will say this, there was that small transition into the white background. I would have loved it if it was um, 
if it would have just if it would have been transitioning to black as he was sliding and then you would have had the black back if you would have just given me black for the rest of for uh for the next page all black for the next page and have negative reverse contrast going on and then for that panel where it says um where it says safe uh Sido high take seizes the lead just have it the way it is it would have been perfection i'm talking about page seven just all you would have had to do is have on bottom of page five have a transition into all black where, where it's white on the top half of the left panel have that black and then have all of page six the backgrounds be black and then top of page seven go back to the white Oh my God, it would have been perfection. It would have made this so effective because the reason why I say that is this is the game changer. This is the moment. This is when freaking Saito takes the lead. This is so significant. I just don't understand why you didn't do that, Terajima. Just doing that would have, just a small thing like that would have just made this chapter, like, would have been perfect. It would have taken this to the next level for me. I would have been so happy with that. But we didn't get it, and I'm very let down. Shit, if you didn't do black and just did gray, like that dark gray, I would have been happy with that. But black would have been a better, would have been my choice, but that's my opinion. Other than that, I mean, the stu the um, I just want to see more with um the backgrounds you especially with that ta uh that pep talk going on i think we were getting a little bit more of the um utilization of uh the backgrounds a little bit yeah we did get a little bit we did get a little bit but i want more i hate that you keep saying i want more but god damn it terajima i want more give me more mm, it's that because to for me that's what's holding this manga back. It's not the lack of utilization of these panels is really holding this manga back. And it's just a goddamn shame. Because if you go look at Hajime no Ippo, look what's going down in there. Look what Morikawa is doing in Hajime no Ippo. Uh, Morikawa is not, is doing very simple things with uh, um, very subtle things with the backgrounds up in there for the fights and it looks fantastic just little things up in there and it looks great and i don't understand why we can't get it up in this manga i'm telling you right now i'm gonna be reading i'm gonna dive into bungo um really soon because i'm gonna have a base because i need to have a baseball manga to compare this to and i know i've heard a lot of good things about bungo oh best believe once i get into bungo I'm going to be comparing this to Bungo a lot because I can only compare this to AOH in terms of sports manga. I only have been really covering for the most part, unless you want to include dance manga. Um, I've been mainly covering like soccer manga. Oh, best believe when I get into Bungo, I, well, and Hajime no Ippo, and obviously Hajime no Ippo. When I get into Bungo, oh, bitch, better watch out, Terachima. Watch out. I'm going to be saying a lot. Especially if Bungo is kick ass. I gotta finish uh, reading Ragna Cris Crimson, which isn't gonna be that long. It's a short, it's, I, there's only like 51 chapters of that, and then I'm gonna dive into Bungo. So, what's that? Oh, God, I can't wait to dive into Bungo. Anyways, let me know your thoughts in the comment section below what you guys think. And remember to like, comment, share, and subscribe to Nerdigan Zinc if you love what I'm doing and wanna help keep this channel alive and kicking so I can keep bringing you more Diamond Oasis uh, content. A few ways you can do that donate to my Cash App, PayPal, Patreon, purchase something off my Amazon wish list. All that's in the description box below. Also, make sure you follow me on Twitter, Twitch, Discord, friend me on PlayStation Network. That's in the description box below as well. Till next time, Nerdigans, I'll be seeing you later. Bye.